hi welcome back to my channel um, today came home excited I got my August beacon book box um, I purchased this just as a one-off um, wanted to give it a shot see what it's like I've seen really good things um, on all like YouTube social media and stuff um, they get great reviews basically all around so I was like, hey, I'm going to give it a shot and see what I get. Uh, the August book box was themed, I want to say, Adventure Awaits. I think I remembered it because August starts with an A, Adventure Awaits. Let's find out. Aha! Adventure Awaits. Cool. Let's check this out. Okay, so spoiler card. First thing, I'm not looking. This is really pretty. It's quite um, shiny. <laughs> um, I'll refer back to it as I pull things out, but oh wow, this. What? All this? Okay, so here's the thing. I've been avoiding social media like the plague, like COVID. Um, I have been avoiding 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 seeing any spoilers stupid me lunch break today at work hey I'm gonna check my Instagram see what's going on and I saw one of the items and as soon as I saw that it was somebody who posted this I was like no and I quickly exited because I just I really want to be surprised and I'm surprised this is like what Oh, and Thistle, my other cat, the last video that I did um, that was my Owl Crate Box uh, subscription, Fezzik was in the background. Now you'll probably hear the little chirping sounds of Thistle, my other cat. So, and I apologize if she jumps up in frame. Let's see, first thing. This looks to me as though it is a passport holder. Words have the power to change us by Cassandra Clare. Let's see. I'm gonna try and do as little crinkling as possible. I'm keeping it away from the microphone so it doesn't pick up as much. That's totally a passport. Yeah, exclusive. The infernal devices inspired passport holder. So cool. And I actually think this is really nice to get because just recently, now I don't subscribe to Fab Fit Fun, Fab Fit Fun, but they had actually just done like a Michael Kors passport holder and I thought, oh, that's a really neat idea. And I don't think I've seen any YouTube videos of um, any of the book subscriptions doing one of these. Maybe I, maybe, I mean, I'm sure they have. I just haven't gotten to that video yet. <laughs> So that's awesome because as soon as those, those borders are open and we're able to travel again, I can tell you that will get a lot of use. This is what had been spoiled for me. A lunch box, bento box. Let's see. I'm sure people who are more familiar with these symbols will know what it is, but I'm going to quickly exclusive Aragon inspired lunchbox. Okay, this is gonna get a lot of use too. Because the kids in my family, we watched Aragon for the first time this summer and I'm pretty sure in one car ride we watched it twice because we're going to and from a campsite and <laughs> they loved it. So I have a feeling they're gonna fight over this. It's really cool, it's got, um, the top pops open. A uh, spork. Yes. Who doesn't love a good spork? A spork and knife up top. Let's see if I can get in without wrecking it. Ah, uh, are you? Okay. My big pet peeve with so many of these amazing little compartmental com compartment boxes and stuff like that. I always have pet peeves because I'm like, well, okay, your sandwich can fit in there, your veggies can fit in there. 
maybe even like a yogurt or something. But how are you going to keep it cold? Because an ice pack's not going to fit in there. Are you kidding me? Built an ice pack! That is so cool. So I'm assuming, try not to break it, Rachel. I'm going to assume that this can just go directly in the freezer. That is so cool. I'm compartment holds spork and knife included and other small snacks lid with snap tight tabs one large and two small compartments oh, that's in here non-toxic freezer gel don't microwave this container okay people if you don't read these instructions you're getting the instructions right now do not microwave this container it's not microwave safe also don't use this plastic container in a conventional oven or on stovetop it's not going to end well and wash thoroughly before using, hand wash only. That's okay, we wash everything by hand here anyways. That's epic. Ice pack. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, I can't wait to, <laughs> to show that off to everybody. And I know some of my, uh, my friends are gonna be a little bit jealous of that, okay. Uh, let's see, what's this? They've just started to let, um, fabric bags back in the grocery stores and I tend to use like all of these fabric bags for um, for my groceries although I can use it for books but I think I'll use it for groceries ah this is so cute you guys did really good picking all this stuff I think I'm quite ready for another adventure look it's the hobbit hold door on oh, the one ring my cup of tea and if I'm not mistaken and I'm definitely sure that Tolkien fans out there are going to um, correct me on this I think I'm quite ready for another adventure is what Bilbo says as he's getting on the um, getting on the ships at the end of Lord of the Rings the last Lord of the Rings. I'm sorry. Return of the King, I believe. I'm I'm sure I'll be corrected. It's okay. Correct me. It's fine. I take no offense. Hopefully you don't take offense to me getting it wrong. What's this? <gasps> okay, first of all, super cute box. Second of all, may the odds be ever in your favor. Hunger Games inspired. Is this the ornament? It is. Okay, so every month Beacon Book Box has, um, has a glass ornament that they put out. And I was so, so hoping to get one that I would recognize. Because again, if you've watched my previous YouTube video, I'm relatively new to the modern YA fiction. I'm getting I'm getting into it. I'm I'm exploring all the different avenues it has. But Hunger Games Let's see. Does that pick up? No, it picks up the reflection on my Nope, that is not going to work. <laughs> there. Let's see if I can get it without Well, there. It's not a great shot, but Saves you seeing a reflection of my camera on there. That's gorgeous. Well done, Beacon Vote Box. Well done. Not that you need my approval, but well done. So excited about that. And it comes in this beautiful box. And you know what is great about this coming in a box like this? I can store it away with all of our Christmas ornaments. And I don't have to worry about trying to find it, like, wrapped up in tissue paper or trying to find a box for it or anything it's just already packed up and it'll be safe because it's got foam in there to protect it you guys were thinking when you put this together anyways every month there's a new ornament and this was one that I was really excited about because when they announced the theme and they announced some of the fandoms that were going to be in it I was like okay I know almost every single fandom so cool Oh, okay, guys. 
<laughs> Oops, <there's> a... <laughs> Let's see. Pirates of the Caribbean medallion. Let's get this puppy out of here. I want to look at this thing in the flesh and blood. Oh, this is so cool. What fun. Seriously. I love these boxes. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Okay. Oh, there it is. And on the back it has cool design as well. Pirates of the Caribbean inspired medallion. This is fun. I... <laughs> It's my first piece of jewelry in one of these boxes, too. So cute! And it's got some weight to it, too. Oh, I love that. Okay. Here's the book. It's all wrapped up in plastic, so again, sorry, I'm gonna put it in my lap and take it out of its packaging. Let's see. Set Fire to the Gods by Sarah Rash and Kristen Simmons. This looks cool. Oh, And not one, but two letters from the authors. Like one from each of them. That is so incredibly sweet. You guys, thank you. Aww. Do you guys want to hear about it? No, I'm going to keep it to myself. No, okay. <laughs> Ash is descended from a long line of gladiators, and she knows the brutal nature of war firsthand. But after her mother dies in an arena, she vows to take action against her fire god, whose temper has stripped her country of its resources. Maddock grew up fighting on the streets to pay his family's taxes, but he hides a dangerous secret. He doesn't have the earth god's powers like his opponents. His elemental gift is something else, something that hasn't been seen in centuries. When an attempted revenge plot goes dangerously wrong, Ash inadvertently throws the two gods into a conflict that can only be settled by deadly, lavish gladiator games, lending Maddox directly in Ash's path. She realizes that his powers are the weapon her rebellion needs, but Maddox won't jeopardize his family, regardless of how intrigued he is by the beautiful warrior. But when the gods force, Mad gods force Maddox's hand, he and Ash uncover an ancient war that will threaten more than one immortal. It will unravel the world. They sound so good. I didn't really, like I knew what to expect, obviously, because they kind of give you an idea of what the book is going to be like. But this sounds like now reading the actual um, write-up, this sounds like something I really, really like, and hopefully, oh, I love a book. I love a book with a map. I think I saw that on um, a booktube video. Somebody was commenting on that how they love a book with a map, and you know what? I agree. It's nice as you're reading that you can kind of flip back and see like where their journey is and how where they're being taken. So just to like the last couple of things at the bottom of the box. Vortex chronicles the complete series. Let's see here. Bookmark for the Vortex Chronicles. That looks cool. They look elvish. At least one of them looks elvish. Oops. Okay. Oh, cool. Free digital copy of the book called Elvert. Elvort? Only one person in each era remembers the outside. What? That sounds cool. Oh, I gotta redeem it by the end of the month. Good to know. Oh, another ebook. Seriously? Beacon Book Box. Thank you. Magna Blade hardcover paperback and merch at magna-blade.com. 
This looks sci-fi. This looks so cool. We just finished playing the new, um, the remake of Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 7? And that reminds me of that. It could be just that the person is standing up way high above the town. Whatever. Oh, and then an art print. Let's see. Dee -dee -dee. Cute. Chronicles of Narnia art print. The map. Huge, huge place in my heart for Narnia. I'm not going to lie. The first book in the series is my favorite book. The origin story of everything. Very cool. Anyways, this is a massive massive box so I suppose a massive massive thank you to Beacon Book Box for um, doing such a great job this is so cool I uh, I'm not associated with them in any way I just wanted to see what it, all the buzz was about and the buzz was good so um, I would heartily agree with all the buzz that, <laughs> that uh, this is definitely a subscription worth getting into um, highly recommend them and again thanks beacon book box for doing such a great job and for catering to everybody's interests you got you guys went through a lot of different fandoms so cool um as for me like subscribe and hit that bell and i'll see you next time